Hello, and welcome to the Crubcast, episode 13, 13, 13. Moriarty. Yeah, yeah, sure. Moriarty, how are you? I'm very well, and yes, welcome to the Crubcast, where the unexpected, the hilarious, and the downright peculiar moments in our life will be getting the spotlight. I am, of course, Moriarty, and today I'm joined by the vibrant voices and personalities of our cast. For example, we have Trav Guy. <laughs> We've got Sean Wolf Chaos on. That's me. And of course, our introduction was brought to us by Chris Mykonos fame. Hey, everyone. Chris here. I didn't say my yes. name, did I? Hi, I'm Chris. You didn't. <laughs> you, you didn't did say your name. But that's okay. On today's episode, we are diving into the world of oops and aha moments. We'll be sharing tales of our funniest mishaps, the times that we got lost, misunderstandings that took a comedic turn, and how... Uh, unexpected friendships can begin from the most random encounters. So let's stay here and, and enjoy this journey because you really won't want to miss it. Of course, if you are listening to us on any of the audio platforms, please do consider giving us a review. It always helps. And if you're watching this live on YouTube on some Friday in the future, then please be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget that if you don't like us by the end of this podcast, you can always remove that like and subscribe. So, I like the idea that liking it is a prerequisite. You have to. You, you yeah, it's, have to. it is legally obligated. <laughs> yes. So, um, I, I think this particular week we're going to be kind of leaning on two of our wackier, more chaotic friends here. So, uh, Chris, of course, being the most wacky and chaotic person, will will maybe not be talking. <laughs> Chris, your hair like looks to watch really good today. Chris, your hair looks really good today. What do you put in it? Really? Um, Walmart yeah. brand dandruff shampoo. Trav, thank Dude, you for asking. Dude, me too! I got it cut a couple days ago. You can't tell because the front's the same. But that might be why it's a little more luscious. Did you give Audio yourself a viewers. Bullet? Yeah. What? Audio viewers, I say, please uh, imagine the most luscious hair you've ever imagined on a white man. I and mean, honestly, it's really good hair today. He has really good hair today. Just saying. It is yep. good hair. Yeah, I, I say of this course as have a bro, hair. no homo. I can't wait to lose it. Well. I can't wait to lose it. Receding hairline gang, let's go! Yeah! I've had one since I was 12, so it's okay. I'm used to it by now. I'm not kidding. Like, this this has been I, like this. I mean, I I've been you. called Vegeta since I was little, okay? I'm used to it. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> That's awesome. Is there a receding it, hairline if it starts to recede and stops for like 20 I don't years? Know. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know if that counts anymore. I think that's just the I hairline. think you just have a high hairline. Yeah. I, I, I think so. But at the same time, I just... Whatever. I'll put it in a mohawk. I'll grow it out. I don't care. It gets For the audio, audio listeners, of course, uh, Sean has no hair except on the top of his head. It has yeah, receded that... back around to the point where it is connecting behind the mohawk. <laughs> yeah. That you know, you like know how my... people have like that one bald spot in the back of their head? Sean has the opposite of that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Exactly. That is the <laughs> only place that sorry, hair is. Sean. <laughs> it's, I don't care. I cut my hair this way. I don't care. Okay. I've seen a lot of EDM artists pull off that look, so it's got to be something. I don't yeah. know what that's well, like. Skrillex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Sean, tell me yes. a little bit about, and I think we're going with the title for this week. Um, and I'm just going to double check because I really liked it, and I'm going to keep keep following it. Uh, the day that you felt like a character in a sitcom. Tell me about that day. There's a lot of those. Uh, I literally before I uh, before we even started this program, I grabbed one of my uh, Dungeons and Dragons dice sets that I just got, and I was like, I'll roll a D four whenever I get. That's when I tell. So here's a story about Penn State. Uh, many years ago, Jesus, yeah, it's. <laughs> I just love how quickly you get into that. Just like, oh well, I rolled a D four, and here's the story I'm going to tell. Yeah. So many years ago, I used to work. Uh, for this convention center and I would set up conventions, weddings and what have you. So I really didn't have much free time. I also went to college at the same time and it made me hate being alive. So mm -hmm. I didn't have any free time. I couldn't do anything on the weekends because that's when I worked. And there was one weekend, one Saturday night, I had it off. And my buddies were like, hey, we're going up to Penn State, Maine. Uh, you know, we have a place for you to stay, blah, blah, blah. So whenever you're done with work, you can come up and we'll just stay the night. And then because I was off Sunday. So after I got done with work, I was like, all right, I got my stuff together. I started to drive. I texted him like, hey, I'm on my way. And where I was, uh, Penn State, Maine was about three and a half hours away. So I texted him like, hey, I'm on my way. 
hour two, I get a text back. Hey, we're not going. <laughs> so I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So I have driving anxiety. And so typically I'd be like, all right, it's I'm time to go home for it for the record. Yeah, you are. Uh, but I was like, you know what? I should probably turn around. But then I was like, you know what? No, I never have this time off. I did not waste all this time here. And I texted them back. I was like, hey, let them know that I'm coming down. Oh, no. So I get there uh, to the house. Very nice people. Great. Uh, do not remember their names. You'll see why soon. Um, <laughs> no. So great people. Very uh, welcoming. And they're like, all right, so we're going to pregame before we go to the campus and before we do all this. And I was like, all right, cool. That's great. Awesome. What are we playing? Oh, we're going to play Flip Cup. I like Flip Cup. What they didn't inform me is, you know, Flip Cup, you're supposed to have, you know, beer in cups. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, what they didn't tell me was that it was all, I think, vodka. It was either vodka or tequila. They didn't tell me that. Uh, so before we even did anything, I was down 12 shots. That's so so I'm feeling good. It was it was a lot. I uh, made some friends. Uh, one guy, he ended up really, really liking me. And he was like, dude, Sean, <laughs> you. Yes, that's me. You are going to be in my wedding. And I was like, oh, when's your <laughs> wedding? He's like, I was like, oh, when's your wedding? He's like, I'm single, <laughs> but you will be in there. And I was like, all right. And just remember his name was Jim. So, Jim, if you're out there, you somehow see this. You sometime, you somehow remember my face. Hi. If you didn't get married yet, you better invite me. Shout <clears> out to Jim. Jim. Jim's a good guy. Uh, kind of. Maybe. Oh. I don't know. I haven't talked to him in a while. <laughs> but anyway, so... We end up going to the main campus, and you know how those old college movies seem like the most rambunctious of times, where people are like throwing stuff out of windows Woo! and like going buck wild. Oh, yeah, 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 crazy. Yeah, I watched time. Monsters University. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That they was a key plot point in that movie. Yeah, <laughs> they were actually doing it. So oh, I mean, yeah, me and my infinite, are, right? Me and my infinite knowledge uh, decided. You know what? I want to partake in this. So I threw two lamps outside of the windows. Lamps? Uh, yeah, lamps. Like, like lamps. Oh, lamps. lamps. Okay. Yeah. I thought you meant like the farm animal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like sheep. So, like lamps. Yeah, like sheep. Yeah. Wee! No, I would not. No, no, no. I, I, I wouldn't animal, put it past no. you, though. Animals are <laughs> fine. People different. I would throw a person out of the window. A yeah, lamb? Right. Absolutely not. Um, I would rather get stabbed than do that to a lamb. I'm picturing, do you, you know Cowboy Bebop, right? You know the moment when yes. he falls out at the end, right? Like, so picture that, but it's a lamb just being like, wolf chaos, huh? <laughs> I, oh, that made me sad. Oh, I'm upset now. <laughs> oh, I hate that. That's great. You can oh, have oh, the, gonna, the music, that, you know? I'm, I just restarted Cowboy Bebop, too. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, what's this? Da, 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 As the love, the... The lambs <laughs> flying out the window. Hey, oh, that makes me so sad. That was great. God, uh, no, no. Anyway, so. So you threw a lamb out a window. Lamp. There's a P at the end. Unfortunately. From this, from this point onward, well, I, I went to go play uh, Flip Cup again because I really like Flip Cup. From this point onward is what I was told happened. <laughs> because I was like, I'm going to go play Flip Cup. I black out. And I mean, completely black out. I woke up. Wasn't on main campus. It was in someone's yard. Shirtless with just just my shorts on. Phone is on like 10%. Hmm. My glasses are in my pocket. Like, I'm not even wearing them. I look around. There's like a pool. There's people like still, I guess, partying. Nowhere near main campus. So I'm like, what the, what happened? So I take out my phone. I have numbers with names that make no sense. There was like J Z Y X T <laughs> and things like that. So I texted somebody like, Hey, where are you? And you're like, Sean, wh where the piss did you go? And then they sent me their location. I was a 15 minute walk from where we were. Yeah, of course. Nope. How? Don't know how we got there. So I get there. I'm like, Hey, so, you know, what happened? They were like, Sean, you you said you were going to the bathroom. Gave me your shirt. I don't know why, but you gave me your shirt, went to the bathroom, 
And when you came back, you said, hey, I got invited to another party. I'll tell you where it is. And then you never talked to anybody since. <laughs> so I have in my phone at the time, I had text messages from numbers I didn't have. I had no idea what happened. To this day, I don't know what I did. I just know that I blacked out. I threw two lamps out of a window. And apparently, this is what one of them said. Apparently, they were like, Sean, you you asked pretty much everyone you talked to if they wanted to go shrieking. And if they said <laughs> yes, they were your friend. And if they said no, you stopped talking to them like immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, awesome. it, so I went home. Uh, and when I tell you the drive home was the worst drive I've ever had in my entire life, I mean that. Like, I'm going down the highway, and you know when your stomach says, I hate you, I need to throw up? Oh, yeah. It did that, but I was like, no, I got this, I got this, I'm not gonna do that. Mm. I pull over to the side. Fine. Hop back in, drive away. Uh... And I think a little bit of me is still at Penn State because of that. And I have not talked to any of them ever since. So I don't How know what they're this? up to. This was in like 2013, 14. Oh, okay, okay. So a oh, decade yeah, it was a while ago. ago. Yeah. I've done, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought for some reason that this was like super recent. No, I've done, no, we'll talk about recent stuff later. Oh, okay. I want like I a detective like visual novel game that then retraces everything you did that night because it's so curious Sean's like the shirt I, I could see you yeah. being like oh i'm sweaty i need the shirt off but then you mentioned the streaking thing and i'm like were you halfway there but then you have the I foresight don't... to put your glasses in your pocket instead of like yeah the glasses in somewhere. the pocket one that's wild that's awesome. yeah I, I wanted to be safe i wanted to be able to see afterwards because i knew <laughs> i know that's my lifeblood if i don't have my glasses i have no existence mm -hmm, it's like mm -hmm. it's like that <laughs> even uh, when i'm drunk i know this yeah, I do. I have like three things when I'm drunk. One, make sure my glasses are okay. Two, make sure someone that I know has my car keys. That's an actual thing. And oh, number three, cool. know my ABCs. Just in I case you have to recite them backwards. People yeah. make fun of me because they're like, Sean, you're not driving anywhere. Why do you know them? I'm like, well, you never know. I have, I know my ABCs. So I'll sing them to kind of. Oh, you actually, I thought this was going to be like a metaphor, like always no. be cooking or no. something. No, I, I literally <laughs> do my ABCs when I'm super drunk, trying to like realize, like oh a way yeah, to I'm drunk. Yourself, I guess? Kind of, but also like, uh, huh. I'm not blackout. That's I mean, awesome. you are though. You just remember your ABC. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, there's this weird guy with like this weird wolf tattoo. He was like, hey, look at my wolf tattoo. Anyway, I know my ABCs. And I don't know. It was weird. Have you, um, have you seen Malcolm in the Middle? Yes. Do you know the scene uh, with uh, Dewey, the, the youngest of these siblings, in the back of the car, just going A, B, C, yes. D? Yes. And then not like I, going past D? That's how I imagine you in this moment. No. Just repeatedly I, A, B, C, D. And then I, I, just starting I, I, over, repeating yourself. I'll, I'll tell my birthday story that involves my ABCs. Oh, okay. Later on, uh, tangentially but, related to your your Penn State story. Um, yes, I also ended up at a house in Penn State, and I also don't remember anything about it. It's a really short story because I don't remember anything <laughs> about it. I know I went out one night and I was with my friends, and then I woke up the next day in a bed. And it wasn't my bed, and I looked around, I was like, where am I? Right? And I was, like, tucked in and, like, taken care of, right? <laughs> oh, see, you were taken care of, I was just left in the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I woke up, and I, like, got out of bed and, like, wandered around in a house I'd never been in, and there was nobody in it. It was completely empty, and I walked outside, and my car was there, parked perfectly, right? Hmm. And there's no way that, like, everything was, like, put away and, like... The, the keys and wallet were in, like, a little bowl and stuff. I have no idea whose house it was. I I took my stuff, and I got in my car, and I drove away, and I was an hour away. An hour away from where I'd gone out drinking that night. So, I don't know what happened, but I'm very curious. Hmm. You drive so you drunk for an hour? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. And I left. I was like, I don't think I belong here. <laughs> What if I broke in, right? <laughs> oh, that is a fear of mine. Right? Yeah. Like, what if, oh, what if this is something I shouldn't be here? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like, some poor that man is... comes home that day. He's like, why is my bed sheet undone? <laughs> So, so I left, and I don't know. I mean, I was taken care of, and there's no way I drove that car that night. There's no that, way. That so, is like, those, somebody drove yeah. me to their house and brought me in and, like, took care of me, and then I fucking left. <laughs> awesome. You, you'll never know who they were. Whoever that was, uh, maybe thank you, because I don't know what else you did. Thanks, right? Jim. Who knows? It was, it was Jim. Yeah, Jim Jim came back with the vengeance. He's like, that fucking Sean guy. <laughs> I'm feeling How this is I? an episode where we'll need to say, please don't drive drunk. Please yeah, don't, don't do that. drive That's drunk. That's our official position. Unless, well, absolutely don't do that. Yeah. Yes. No. So, oh, uh, Mr. Wolf Chaos so. Sean, you said you had four stories that you had to roll yeah. a, a D4 for. Just out of curiosity, without going into too much detail, um, what are the titles you would give to those three stories that you didn't tell us yet? Uh, family Guy occurrence uh i think i know like, this one yeah the one where i project that yeah yeah um, yeah yeah that was a fun not fun one uh there was that there was the lost puppy wedding and the third one was going to be uh caddyshack in real life and ca is caddyshack the one where the person like no that's million dollar baby sorry million dollar baby <laughs> in real life clearly the what? same film Hold on, this just got weirder yeah let's hear that one that one okay um i'm not gonna use any names no so, except your own except my own so this was again a long time ago uh my buddy wanted to go to a party cool whatever he was recently single and he wanted to meet chicks or whatnot i'm like all right cool whatever i like hanging out with people i like meeting new people let's go so we go there it's not a party it is literally three people inside a house. Mm. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Uh, so Are there any girls there? Two. Ooh. Okay, that's working out for this guy. <laughs> so, but again, I, I don't care. I'm just having fun. I want to meet people and talk to people. So uh, our one buddy and one of the girls, they go off. Whatever. Uh, so there's only one girl left. And it's not going well for my friend. Uh it's just not. And I'm like, okay, can we leave? Because it's like 12 o'clock and I'm kind of bored. He's like, yeah, sure. So I go to the bathroom. Uh, I come back down and the other friend, he starts to come up and he's like, oh, wait, hold on. They're making out. And I look down and they're making out. So I'm like, all right, cool. Great. I'm going to just go out on the porch and just hang out while you do your own thing. Uh, so me and him go out on the porch. We're having a nice conversation. Uh, we're drinking uh, Red's Apple Ale, which is very Delicious. Good, Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, so about 20 minutes come in. 20 minutes come inside. Look over. Oh, they're just half naked in the living room. Okay, I'm just going to grab another beer and leave. <laughs> uh, so leave. Talk to him some more. Again, we're just having a good time. We're listening to each other music. It's, it's, it's a time. I have to say, not knowing the plot of a million dollar baby, this could really go anywhere, and I like it. It's, it yeah, yeah. Um, well, it so, could also be Caddyshack, so remember, a gopher might just pop up. So. Yeah, <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah. So, again, I wait like 30, I literally have like a timer of like 30 minutes, go back inside, they're still just half naked making out, and I'm like, I, please, can if you're going to do something, just do it, go somewhere and do it. Like, I'm, anyway. So I grab another beer, go outside, talking to the guy, and he tries to grab my hand. I'm like, hey, you know, sorry, just not interested, blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, no, I'm sorry, just figured, no, it's all good. All good. No worries. No harm, no foul. Um, So we're hanging out, still talking. Go inside. They're still, still doing the same thing. Oh, my God. Go back outside. <laughs> and this is over the course of, like, two, three hours now. So I'm like, I just, I, I want to go home. And I didn't drive there. That was a problem. I did not drive. So mm. he, st uh, the guy I'm outside with, he starts to like grab at my thigh and I'm like, oh. no, 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 no. There's a line here. He's like, oh, sorry, it's just whenever I get drunk. I'm like, that's fine. But I'm telling you, no. Whenever I get drunk, I get handsy. Yeah. Is, I was like, that's I fine. I but I'm going to that was fine. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, <laughs> well, I mean, like, like, what do you say in that moment to not get shot? You know, I, yeah. yeah. Well, that's a concern now, isn't it? Yeah. So, right. so I go, I, I'm, I go back inside because I'm just like, okay, this is, I don't want to go outside for a little bit. They're still making out 
on the damn couch. I said, you know what? Screw this. I'm hungry. No one had any food here. So I start rummaging through their stuff. <laughs> uh, Just going through to like, you know what? You guys are making out. I'm stealing your food. Yes. Uh, so I'm uh, going That's an understandable stuff. thing to do. Yeah, I was hungry. I didn't eat. All I've been doing is drinking Red's apple and... Bro needs apple so, juice. Okay, no, cider. So I, I found Ego waffles. <laughs> I found Ego okay. waffles. So I put them in the Ego toaster, put them down. So I start to look throughout their house to find syrup. Check the fridge, nothing. Check the pantry, nothing. They had no syrup. They had Ego waffles, but no syrup. Oh. So I left them. I'm not eating Eggles without syrup. So they <laughs> they stayed in the toaster for the rest of the day. Okay. Um, oh my God. Well, night. So I go outside, and this guy is very, very drunk. Um, and he comes up to me, and he try he gets like a little too close. So I like I pushed him back, and I was like, "All right, no, I'm done with this. I'm done. I can't do this." So I go inside. I don't care what they're doing anymore. I go inside in the living room. There's like there are, there's a couch and like a love seat. I sit in the love seat and I put on the TV because I'm just not having this anymore. Uh, they start they <laughs> they stop making out. They're like, "Oh, is, is everything all right?" I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah." I was like, "Yeah, everything's fine." And then he came in. He's like, no, I'm not okay. Everything's not all right. I just want to dance. And he did like a little like, fl- uh, like body. Oh, I don't shit. even know this what to call it. This is the most fucked up Sims house I've heard of in a Hold while. Hold on. I have to say. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> so he, house as, party. As, as he does like this, I don't know whatever to call this move. He loses balance, falls over, and his neck smacks onto the, uh, onto the table. And he just goes limp oh no God. so he died your story so, ends with a man died <laughs> so like shout i look at jim. my buddy i look at my buddy he looks at me <laughs> shout out to jim so we look at each other and i'm like we need to call someone <laughs> and he's like what what and i'm like we we need to call someone right now and then like within like it, it probably was like 30 seconds, but it felt like five minutes. He finally gets up and he's like, oh, I just want to dance. Oh and then he like stood up, went over to the couch and laid down. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And I looked at my buddy. I'm like, can we go now? He's like, actually, we're, we're going to go upstairs. And I looked at him and I remember like, I scream, lo- like scream low volume. And I was like, why the hell didn't you do that earlier? Um, so then they went upstairs. We leave at 6 a.m. And he's like, yeah, we uh just made out the whole time. And I was like, you, I almost watched a man die. You didn't even do anything. What was the point of this? <laughs> well, she was going through a divorce. And I'm like, <laughs> so, holy shit. What? He's like, yeah, they're, they're like still technically married. And like, they're going through all that. I'm like, uh, it's OK. We didn't do anything but make out for six hours. It's OK. Come I'm on, like, bro. Uh, no. So that, that was the last time I ever let him take me to a party without me knowing anybody. Without me not knowing anybody. That, yeah. Um, but yeah, the rest most, in peace, Jim. The yeah, most recent party that I went to that somebody brought me to, and I wasn't aware of what was happening, I was invited to go to a club where a, quote, rave was happening. And I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, we'll go and we'll, we'll drink and dance. And I got there. And uh, it was a leather party. It oh, was nice. not a It was not a rave. <laughs> a little different. Yeah. And it, it was not what I was expecting. Um, the music was great, though, but the beers were far too expensive, and the line to the bathroom was outrageous. <laughs> there, I've, I've been to one goth rave before, but I cannot tell that story. Very good. Very Did good. that one actually end in death? Why can't you? No, I j- no. We can't okay, even know the reason why. Can't oh, no. even know the reason why. That was a... Uh, Trav, what's a terrible thing that you've done? Dude, I can't <laughs> compete with this. I'll be honest. It's a terrible like, thing you've done. <laughs> I, I, Dude, literally, I'm trying to think of like, oh, what's the worst thing I've done uh, in like no, uh, a social setting? And I'm thinking like, uh, I got locked in a church bathroom once when I was five. Uh, what? I got, I got nothing. Uh, so I literally, so I, the church I went to, it was like, a um, I I was born into a a Catholic family. So it was like one of the fancy Catholic churches and it Mm -hmm. was like, 
I was just too fancy short. Fancy Catholics. Yeah, it, it <laughs> yeah. was like it, it was so so fancy that the locking mechanism for the door was super rusty, and I literally could not reach it uh, because it was just one of those like pull the bolt up, move it, and then lock it back down. And I just mm-hmm. couldn't reach it, and I just started crying <laughs> because I didn't I didn't have a I didn't have a concept of um, like uh, so I, I had child brain. Where I thought, oh, at, if we if it's at this time, people leave the church, and if I'm stuck in here when people leave, my parents are going to go home without me. Uh, so <laughs> I was just be yeah. like, oh, we don't know where he is. Yeah, it's just like that's now. just what I thought what would happen because I had no sense of that kind of shit. So I'm just like, oh well, what what the fuck do I do? Uh, I'm stuck. I and I was like, I like five, four, somewhere around there, and uh, that's literally all I can think of, like. Dude, I can't compete with my best friends were fucking on the couch because she's divorced. They didn't. Sorry. Yeah, they yeah, wish. Yeah, but, yeah, they sure. didn't. That, that is, that, they didn't do that. Like, I, they I just didn't do that. Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever you say. I, I can't fucking compete with that. <laughs> I'm still just focused on that because like, I'm not like someone who's going to sit here and say, oh, you know, you have to go do something, right? Like, if that's yeah. where you're comfortable with, sure. I'm just... Your lips well, there's also hurt. a like, point where s- it's like, if someone's say? dying... Well, that too, well, but like an hour or two of the makeout, what do you say? But it's it, it's in the living room too. That's true. And like That's I said, true. like it's just in from the living room. A, from a from a user standpoint, right? Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. If you're there for two hours, at that point, you've got to be like, so are we, we doing something or not? Yeah. It, but not only <laughs> what, that, why would you? What would you do? I can't kiss somebody for three hours. I'm sorry. They were in the living room. They were in the living room. And then after I came in, they were like, oh, we'll go upstairs. Because there were two different bedrooms. Why? Why would you do it in the living room for that long? I understand it happens there, but you have, like, from minute 10 to hour 3 to move somewhere. And you don't until I have to make you move. Right. I'm so upset about it. You know, I'm going to... I'm gonna no. I'm not gonna call them right now. I'm gonna call them right now. Call them right now, live on the screen. I'm gonna. (laughs) Why didn't you go upstairs early? (laughs) I'm gonna break our fourth wall here because there's some uh, context from our live chat. If you catch us Tuesdays at 7 p.m., you can catch us live. As was probably stated, this story made me forget things already. Uh, People are wondering: uh, Was the girl who made out with a guy for three hours married to someone in the house, or were as everyone unrelated? Okay, the husband was not not there, or the partner, I should say. Okay. Yeah, no. That's the probably did not good live to there, know. <laughs> but I don't think she lived there. Well, I mean, if they're going through a divorce, I don't know if, you know. I do you I didn't know all that. I don't no, know. No, I what I'm happened. just speculating. I'm not saying anything. Although I will say that he ended up getting invited to her divorce party. Uh and then he said I don't want to go. Divorce you know? party. <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, I don't want to go to that." I'm like, "Okay. What is all the divorce right, I party?" I Who what, what is that? I don't know. It's like, it's, like a, it's like a bridal shower, except yeah, the opposite. Except you're celebrating the fact that you're single again. Yeah, but it, it was a weird time. Uh, but thankfully, everyone was fine after that. The man did not die. Great. So, That's good. 10 out of 10. That you are good aware time. of. Oh, no, because the one friend is friends with Chicky went upstairs. Where, so, like, if anything would have happened, it would have been said. Mm. So we're 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 Gucci baby. Okay, I'm kind of with That's Trav. Cool. This is putting in a stark contrast how boring of a person I am because I do not. Have I, I don't like know. This. Like I no, drink they, at home or at friends' homes, and that's kind of all I've ever drank. Right? Like I usually know where I'm at. Usually got a pretty good sense of where I am, how I feel. You know? But there, were, you, <sighs> my problem with regards to tonight, right? Because like I'm, I've been thinking about what stories to tell, and I had to go. Okay, but is this a story that I want known publicly? And is it a story that's just about, like, things I don't want people knowing about me? <laughs> and most I, of them just fall into that category of, like, I don't know that I want to tell that to people I don't know in real life. <laughs> I was thinking of snafus I've done, right? Like, one time, it, it was early on, I was just going to kindergarten, and the idea of not being home and you went to kindergarten? Mom, yeah, I know. It Dude, was a me big too. Step. It was a big step, because apparently... I was so upset at the fact that I couldn't be home anymore that I just cried all day on my first day of school. I do have a oh. vivid memory of breaking down at lunch, you know, poor little me. But mm. then I was so upset at the notion that I had to do this 
that at one point the poor principal even approached me in the hallway and started trying to talk to me and be like hey man it's okay you know i just got mad and kicked him in the shin apparently awesome. and my mom had to come in and apologize to him and i was like i guess that's a story where i was the sitcom character the sitcom character was a child who kicks principal <laughs> It doesn't seem just, like something I do, but apparently I sure did do it. You I think I remember it. I'm just imagining like you, just smaller, same head and everything, hair, facial hair, just like, like big head, little body, <laughs> 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 just like kicking this principal in the shins. Oh, Very that's good. so good. This poor nice man. He didn't. How ask do you know he's nice? Place. You were you were a child. You don't know if he was nice. He could have been an asshole. He could have been terrible. It's always nice. Yeah, Dude was a piece of shit. Piece of shit. Principal, he deserved to get kicked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, I heard he was Jim's dad. No, Jim's Fucking dad. Fucking Jim. <laughs> God, everything's gonna come back to Jim. I hate Jim. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you a story uh, about Virginia Beach. And I don't know if any of you have been to Virginia Beach, but you shouldn't go. It's one of the worst places that I've ever been, and this is the story on why. <laughs> so one night. It's about 10 o'clock at night. Uh, I had just moved to the East Coast, and I was living um, near Philadelphia. And uh, I was driving around with a friend of mine, and we're just doing what, like, you know, 21, 22-year-old guys do. We're just driving around, hanging out, talking, okay. right? And he gets a phone call from... Uh, these two girls that we were kind of interested in, and um, they were like, hey, we're in Virginia Beach. You should come down. Uh, we were young and dumb, and geography was not something that we <laughs> were particularly <laughs> competent on at that particular moment. And mm -hmm. it was like, yeah, of course, we'll be there. How far away is it? And they were like, I don't know, like an hour. I was like, oh, okay, sure. Let's drive to Virginia Beach. That's so... Good. Fast forward about six hours, and we are driving <laughs> in North Carolina somewhere. My buddy's asleep, <laughs> and I'm just driving, right? And he wakes up, and he's like, where the fuck are we? And I was like, we're in North Carolina. We're still like two hours from Virginia Beach. And he starts throwing a fit. He's mad. <laughs> he's just <laughs> being that kind of guy who's just like, this is bullshit. I thought they said it was an hour away. I fell asleep expecting to get there. What is this shit? Right. And so we start we start arguing because I'm like, it's not my fucking fault. I'm not from here. <laughs> I don't yeah. know where anything is. Why should I know it's not an hour away? Anyways, eventually and then we get Google Maps was invented. <laughs> so so we um we we stopped at a uh what do they call them like um like a rest area right still arguing the whole time he gets out of the car and he's like fuck it i'll just stay here and i'm like fine stay here i'll go home <laughs> so i start driving back and um after about 30 minutes or so i calm down enough to realize i can't leave my friend <laughs> and <laughs> at a rest Jesus. stop in in North Carolina. So I turn back around and I go back down there and uh, I'm driving around this rest stop an hour later, mind you, because I, I drove for 30 minutes at least. Mm -hmm. And um, out in the woods, <laughs> out in the woods behind the gas station, I see a dude walk <laughs> around behind there and I honk and he comes over and he gets in the car and he just starts laughing at me. And I was like, it's no fucking funny. He's like, it's really really funny you just left me <laughs> i was like okay yeah but you were an asshole he's like yeah but you left me in north carolina <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right i mean that is kind of funny i'll be honest <laughs> in retrospect yeah. it's funny right yeah, it, it wouldn't moment. be funny if you didn't come back yeah well yeah i mean you know uh, he was an asshole. I still love him to death, but he would have deserved it to be left there. I promise you. <laughs> so, did Jesus. you continue? My question is, did you go home or did you keep going to no. Virginia Beach? Okay, so, like well, I'm not done with the story by a okay. long shot. I promise you. Okay. So, okay. we get we get back in the car. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning now, right? We started driving at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. And I remember st at some point during the night stopping at a gas station being like, how do I get to Virginia Beach? And this guy just being like, well, he just go down that road for a really long time. And that's that's it. That was the directions that I got. And um, uh, we go to Virginia Beach 
And at this point, my phone is dead because I didn't bring a charger because of course not. I don't think I'm going that far, right? Like I'm going an hour down the road. I didn't bring anything. I just had the clothes on me and like some cash and my wallet, right? I didn't, I didn't have anything. And uh, we get to Virginia Beach and I'm like, we need to charge our phone. Um, Cause I was the only one who, who had a phone. He, he didn't have his cell phone with him. Cause again, we didn't expect to go. So I was like, all right, got to charge the phone so that we can call these girls and be like, where the hell are you? Because they just said we're in Virginia beach. And again, we weren't being very smart. So we didn't ask them yeah. where they were staying. We did. We just, okay, sure. We'll come to Virginia beach and meet you in this city. That should be easy. So far, this is like three steps removed from a BS and Bud episode. I have to say yeah. it really clicked with the, yeah, we don't actually know where yeah. they are. We're just going on the promise Go of girls. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yep. Yeah. So we, uh, we, we stop in, <laughs> stop into like a Verizon store or an AT&T store or whatever that happened to be open at like seven 30 in the morning. And, um, we go in and I'm like, Hey, I want to get like a car charger for this phone. And the guy was like, yeah, that'll be like $39. And me, I, if you meet me, I'm frugal. 40 bucks is not something I want to spend. And I was like, no, <laughs> no, no, I'm not spending $40. Cause I had maybe 50 bucks, right? Like I didn't, ha- I brought nothing. And I'm like, I'm not spending all of my money on a car chart. No, no. So, um, the guy who was running, it was like, well, I can't just let you charge your phone unless you're going to buy something. And I was like, I'm not going to buy anything though. And then my friend was like, okay, look, what if what if I was to just like pretend to buy something and like hang out with you for a little bit and we could just like talk about some stuff, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> just, you know, what? hang out, man. Yeah. Easy. And the guy was like, I guess that could be cool. It's kind of boring in here. So <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted a friend. <laughs> he just wanted a friend. <laughs> so, so we plug in the phone, we get it charged. I'm sitting over in the corner with the phone. Um, my, my buddy's talking with this guy about, I don't even know what, just like having a good old time. Finally get the phone charged. I call these girls immediately and I'm like, Hey, where, where are you? Cause we just got down here and they're like, Oh man, you came all the way down. Why didn't you come to blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I don't know where anything is. I don't know where you are. I'm very lost and confused. So we, uh, we eventually meet up with them, right? It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. We meet up with them at their hotel, which happened to not be in downtown Virginia Beach, but outside of it anyway, so we would have been totally screwed. We get there, we go to the beach, we have a great day at the beach, right? We have fun, we go out for dinner, we do all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And then that night, um, like, I don't know, 8 o'clock in the evening, me and my buddy are sitting there and we're both like, so what do you want to do? And he was like, I, I want to go home. This place has not been super fun. And this was a bullshit drive. And I don't really want to be here anymore. Right. And I was like, okay, we should, we should go home. And like, it was clear that like, we were not being invited to stay at the hotel. You know what I mean? So mm. we're, we're, we're just, we're just going to go. And, um, we decide to go walk the boardwalk. Uh, at Virginia Beach, because we hadn't really done that yet, and it was nighttime, it was kind of pretty out, right? So we park the car uh, somewhere in Virginia Beach near the boardwalk. We walk to the boardwalk, um, and we we buy a cigar, because we're like, yeah, we'll just have a cigar and, like, hang out, right? It'll be like a nice nightcap kind of a deal. Mm. And um, we buy the cigar, and we go outside, and we light it, and it immediately unravels and falls to the ground, um, and it's just, like, immediately, we light it, and the whole thing just <laughs> explodes and falls to the to the ground, just tobacco everywhere. And we were like, wow, that really caps everything off for Virginia Beach. And so we go back to the car, and the car is gone, and it's, it's no longer, it's just not there, and there's glass all over the ground, and I'm like, holy shit, somebody stole my car, right? I can't Jesus. believe this. Why would somebody steal? I didn't even have a nice car. Why would you steal my car? And yeah. I flagged down a cop and um, the, the cop is like, hey, what car are you looking for? And I'm like, oh, it's this, this and this. He's like, oh, no, no, it's not been stolen. We towed it. 
And I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> I love the okay, familiarity well, with the local towing scene on this for one thing. It's like, like, oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, one. Nah. All right, no, that yeah, one. yeah, no, we towed it. And I was like, oh, man, why did you tow my car? And he's like, oh, you're not supposed to park in this neighborhood without a, a thing. And I was like, where mm -hmm. are the signs? And they're like, oh, when you enter the neighborhood, there's a sign that says you need to have a permit to park in this entire section of the town. So we towed it. And I was like, oh, that sucks. So where do I go get it? He was like, oh, so it's going to be 11 blocks this way. And then you're going to go 26 blocks down this way. And it's behind a 7-Eleven. Hmm. Okay. Sounds like a racket. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, can you take me there? <laughs> no. And he drives away. <laughs> so me, <laughs> me and my friend are standing there going, okay, I guess we got to walk to go get the car, right? <laughs> Which... You know, whatever, not a big deal. Uh, it is 40 blocks away, so that sucks, but I guess it's what we got to do. And we walk, mm. and we walk, and we walk, and we walk, and by now it's like 9.30, 10 o'clock, because we've been walking for like an hour and a half to get to this place. And when I say it's behind a 7-Eleven, you are walking, and there's a 7-Eleven, and then there is a path <laughs> behind the 7-Eleven <laughs> that oh, leads God. to like a gate, and you open the gate, and it's a tow yard that's completely fenced in. You can't even tell there's cars inside. And I go in and I'm like, hey, you guys have my car. It's that one right there. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, so that'll be, I don't know, $130 or something, right? And I was like, wow, that sucks. Okay, well, I have my card in the car because we had gone swimming during the day. And so I'd taken off everything and left it in the car because that makes sense, right? I'm not going to take my wallet in the ocean. I'm going to leave my wallet in the car. And we're right. just stopping at the boardwalk for five minutes, so I don't need to take anything with me. I'll just take a little bit of cash. No, no. no. So, I need to get that card out of the car. Oh, I can't let you do that. What do you mean you can't let me do that? Well, your car is impounded. Right, but my money's in the car. Yes. Yes, it is, but you can't go in the car okay but if you let me in the car i can get the money and then i can pay <sighs> you no no i can't let you do that that's against the rules and i'm like shocked pikachu face here okay <laughs> just like i don't but my money's in the car you need to let me in the car to pay you what am i supposed to do that guy goes i don't know you could ask my boss i guess he'll be here at like two in the morning i'm like <laughs> Jesus. Just let me God. get the money out of the car, man. <laughs> yeah. No, what if you drive away? My friend will stay here. I'm not leaving him. And then my friend, of course, is like, well, you did leave me <laughs> for a minute. I was like, oh, man, come oh, yeah, on. Let's, you can't, let's say that. You can't let's say, say that, that right now. Oh, uh, okay. So <laughs> I go, all right, so what am I supposed to do? And the guy's like, look, you can come back at two and talk to my boss. And maybe he'll let you in the car uh, or you can get money. That's it. That's your choice. Or you can get um, money with the card you don't have. Right, or you can get money. So, my phone is now dead because we didn't buy a charger. We only charged it enough at the morning, right? I have no phone. Uh, I am in Virginia Beach. Uh, I have basically no clothes on, right? I'm wearing some, like, board shorts with no underwear and, like, some flip-flops and, like, an A-shirt, right? My buddy's in the same. We have nothing in our, our, our pockets except for my phone and, like, I don't know, $15 in cash. And we're just in Virginia beach. The car is gone and I can't do any, I don't know what to do. Right. I don't know what to do. So I go to the seven 11 and I trade like $4 for quarters. And I use a pay phone because seven 11 is the only place in the world that still has pay phones. <laughs> and I called my parents and I was like, Hey, I'm in Virginia beach. And everything's bad, and I need money, because they took my car. And I don't know what to do, because they won't let me get my card out of the car. And they're like, that's stupid, just use your card. And I was like, I can't! I can't! They won't let me do it! So, I'm like, hey, can you just, like, I don't know, send me money somehow? How do you physically send someone money, right? Mm -hmm. So, Western Union or MoneyGram or something, like, they exist, and they're all in, like, grocery stores, right. which are all closed. Nobody can do anything. So I'm just standing there, right? And I, I doing these phone calls like every 15, 20 minutes um, where I'm like calling my mother back being like, hey, so what's going on? 
<laughs> right? And eventually, hey, okay, so I, I put money through a Western Union that's in this place. It's going to be in this grocery store. They open at six. So if the guy lets you get your car out at two, you're cool. But if not, then you're going to have to go to this grocery store that's uh, 11 miles away and uh, get that money then and then walk back, I guess. I don't know. It's cool. That's all right. I have a plan, I guess. And at this point, it's like midnight, right? So me and my buddy, we sit at the 7-Eleven uh, until about 2 o'clock in the morning. Guy comes back, right? And he comes and we go and we're like, hey, man, let me get my car. And he's like, ha, no, you'll steal your own car. Uh, no, man, how am I supposed to pay you? How am I supposed to pay you? And he's like, I don't know. It's not my problem. You need to leave the property if you're not going to, you're not going to pay. So we're just, we're just, I don't, like, eh. <laughs> I think my Please. brain is broken by this point. Right? So, okay, what do we do? Well, we got to go. <sighs> we got to go get this money from this this grocery store at six, seven o'clock in the morning, whenever they open up, which is miles away. And I'm like, I, I don't know how we're gonna get. I don't know where that is. I don't know what to do. I'm feeling really lost and alone right now. So we but just start walking. Context, you haven't slept by this point, right? Correct. Yeah, had not slept yet. Um, it's been two days. Right. And the most we've done is like drink and go swimming. And so everything's sad and awful. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we go, um, we go to just start walking back towards the city because we're like, I don't know what else to do. Right. Like, I just don't, I don't know what to do. So we walk down and we get back to the boardwalk and it is now three in the morning on the boardwalk in Virginia Beach, which is not filled with, like, lovely touristy people. It's filled with, like, alcoholics and criminals. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody basically leaves us alone because we're the dirtiest people there because we're wearing basically nothing, right? We look broke and and sad and lonely. (laughs) 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 Nobody bothers us. We're the people everyone's walking around, right? They're like, yeah. as the tourists are coming out drunk, they're being like, no, no, don't don't go down there. You gotta gotta (laughs) walk around everyone. It's like, okay. Cool. This is who we are. Um, I would like to, to to reiterate that I did not wear underwear at this point because board shorts, we went swimming, didn't want to get the underwear wet because that would be uncomfortable. So we switched out of the underwear. Underwear's in the car. Can't get oh. the underwear. We're just Jesus. walking around. Mm-hmm. So um, we, we managed to... Uh, borrow a guy's charger for just a second to charge the phone. We get the phone number for the girls at the hotel. We call them payphone, right? We're like, hey, we're down at the boardwalk, um, whatever. They are blitzed drunk, right? <laughs> Completely blitzed drunk. And it's like, can you please come get us? And they're like, no. <laughs> we're like, Please, God, please, can you please? Is anybody sober there? Please, please. <laughs> like the the feelings of just sheer depression and sadness and loneliness in that moment, you know. And it's like, please, I don't care. I don't care what's happening. Please, don't leave me in Virginia Beach. <laughs> so they they go, okay, we'll we'll try and figure it out. And they hang up. It's the last money we have for phone calls. Right. That's it. Mm. Uh, I have like two dollar bills. It is too late to get change and get quarters or just sitting there. And so we're like, you know, fuck it. We're going to walk to their hotel. And we start walking through the projects of Virginia Beach, uh, which just happened to be right behind that area. But again, there's no underwear. We're starting to get very uncomfortably chafed and it's starting to be very difficult to walk. And we're really tired we're super thirsty and we're lost and we don't even know if this is the right direction and we're kind of hopeless. So at this point it's like, look, I'm, I'm just going to walk this direction. And I think the hotel's that way, but if not, what's the worst that can happen? It can't get worse. And a cop pulls us over, right? He like pulls behind us and he's like, what are you guys doing? And we kind of explain all this. And uh, it's a female cop and she's like, oh man, that sucks. I'm going to give you guys a ride. Okay. Uh I was like, well, (laughs) <laughs> yes, please, please give us a ride. And as we are loading into the back of her cop van, her supervisor pulls up, right? 
And the supervisor's like, hey, what's this? And I'm giving them a ride. And he goes, you can't do that. I was like, what do you mean? Right? Me. What do you mean she can't do that? He's like, we have insurance. We have th- You can't be in that if you're not under arrest. Right? And I'm like, no. No, no, please. Please arrest me. <laughs> Just take me where I need to go. I don't care. And the guy makes us get out of the car. He makes us get out of the car. And then they drive away. You could you should have just peed on the floor right then and there. They you should just have left me. They got me out of the cop car and left me lost and broken alone in the projects at 3:30 in the fucking morning. Protect and serve, my friend. So, we keep walking and uh <clears throat> we find an unattended bicycle that has clearly <laughs> been that has clearly been donated to the community. And we decide to take this community bicycle and use it as members of the community. Yeah. And yeah. in no way, no way was this a small broken little girl's bicycle. It was Gosh. it was a community bicycle, clearly labeled, and, and you could take it and it said please use. And it was not somebody's small child's bicycle. And uh, I cannot get onto this bicycle at this point because I am so sore and my body hurts so badly, I can't get onto the bicycle, but he can. So he gets onto the bike and I'm shuffling at this point, like shuffle, 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 right? Just uncomfortable. I have so, so much chafing. <laughs> it is so uncomfortable. I don't want to move anymore. He gets on the bike. He starts going. He's like, I'm going to go. I see a light down there. That's got to be like another 7-Eleven or something. Right. And I'm like, just please go find a phone or something. Call somebody. Collect. I don't know. Find out where we are. So he goes off on the bike and he goes off to this thing. And I just shuffle along. And like 15, 20 minutes later, I get to the light. And it's um, it's like a not not a 7-Eleven, but some alternative, like a Circle K or something. Uh, eight twelve. But it's. Whatever, right? But it's closed. Yeah. It's just closed. There's nothing there. Um, and the bike that he had been riding was in the middle of the parking lot, unattended. And it looked like it had been run over by a car, right? Uh-huh. Like it's bent. And he's just gone. And uh, there's there's nothing, nothing there. This place is closed. And so I was like, I don't actually know what to do anymore. This is the end of my story. I I end here, right? And I sat down on the curb of this not 7-Eleven at 5 o'clock, 4.30 in the morning, whatever it is, um, just staring at this bike that that we had had community taken, right? (laughs) And and was now bent in half in the middle of this this parking lot, and my friend is gone. And um, I'm sitting there for uh, like 20 minutes, right? And this guy comes over and he sits down next to me, right? And I guess I had the look, you know what I mean? He's like, hey man, had a hard day, huh? And I was like, <laughs> gosh, <laughs> yep, it's yeah. been a rough one, man. And he was like, yeah, what you doing? I was like, my friend was on this bike and now he's gone. And I don't know where he is. He's like, yeah, you didn't give him money, right? That's what happens when you give people money. Like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> nope, no. Nope. I'm just sitting here and Right. Um, the guy's clearly, you know, some sort of uh, uh, dependency issues. Right. I'm like, oh, OK, well, this is this is where I'm at now. And I'm just sitting here and there's nothing I can say or nothing I can do. And uh, a few minutes after this guy had showed up, a car pulls in and it is some, I, I don't know, Mercedes or Lexus. Really nice. Right. Chromed out everything. Just disgusting, uh, super expensive car pulls up. The the driver's side window rolls down, and it's my buddy in the car. And he goes, <laughs> "Get in the car!" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god, what? <laughs> what? I don't care!" And I get in the car, and I sit in the back seat just immediately because he's you know just get in the car. And I get in the car, um, and there's a dude in the back seat with me. He was like, "What's up, man?" And I was like, "Hey, what's what's up?" And my buddy's like, yeah, I don't know. I found this guy here and he said he'd give us a ride, but he doesn't want to drive because it's too late. And I was like, I, oh, oh, OK, He's just like me. He's just okay. like me. <laughs> All right. That's fine. This is good. Well, that's great. 
So I'm in the back seat sitting next to this dude who's like, so where are you from? How's it been? So you had a hard night tonight, right? And I was like, uh, yep, yep, pretty bad. And my buddy's in the front seat driving this guy's car to this hotel right? <laughs> at 5.30 in the morning. We get there and the guy's like, all right, man, you guys have a cool day now. And then he got back into his $100,000 car and drove the fuck away. And we're at the hotel and we walk back up the stairs, right? We knock on the door to the, the room that these girls were staying in, and somebody opened up, and they're all passed out with random men in their beds, right? Mm, we're course. like, okay, whatever. And we lay down on the floor directly in front of this door, and we pass out for like 45 minutes. And then I wake up to like a kick shove from my buddy going, get the fuck up, we're getting out of here, right? Right? And I'm like, well, I haven't slept in the thing. He's like, no, the store's open, right? We're going to go get the money. We're going to go get the car. And we're going the fuck home. Okay. All right. We stand up. My, my, one of the, the girls, I was like, hey, are any of you sober enough to drive us to the store? And this girl goes, oh, my God. She says, yeah, but I don't want to. That seems not as much fun. We're going to go to the beach. And I was like, you can't drive me two minutes. You can't drive me two minutes to go to the store so I can get my car out of impound that it's been in that I came because I came to fucking see you. Ah! <laughs> I so we left. need to poke in real quick. How well did you know these girls before this? Like, yeah. Like, OK. Didn't. You know, like we hung out. Like you were friendly. You Friendly. We weren't, weren't friends. strangers, basically. They weren't strangers. Okay. They weren't oh, strangers. That, no, we like, that's where I wanted to... Okay. Uh, yeah, I was the, under the impression that it was just some random chicks you were trying to hook no, up with. No, 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 no. no. Like we, Which, we like, I wouldn't them. have judged, you know? I, I get so, it. So it was three girls. Um, it was one girl that was just a friend of ours. It was mm -hmm. a girl that my friend had dated before, right? This is an ex of his. And then another girl that I was interested in. So they right? should have had your back. Yeah, should basically. have. Should have. Yeah. yeah. Should okay. have. Yes. Which is why when they were like, I don't think I'm going to drive you down there. I'm going to go to the beach instead. I was like, fuck you. Just, <laughs> just fuck you. So we leave. And uh, I stop at the hotel concierge, you know, concierge, whatever thing. And I'm like, where is this place? Do you have like a like a shuttle or something that can take us to this store. No, sorry, we don't have that. Where is it? Okay, so it's, uh, you don't go two exits down. I was like, I have to walk. You cannot <laughs> tell me exits. I need to know how to get in. He's like, all right, so you're going to walk through like these lots and you're going to like come underneath this bridge here and then like it's over there. So we walk down to this store. And uh, we get there maybe 10 o'clock in the morning by this point. It takes a while, right? And, like, neither of us want to move anymore. We are completely sore. We have torn the skin between our thighs off. It is just okay. misery and sadness, right? And we get to this store, and I have $2 in my, my pocket left, right? And I'm like, we haven't even had anything to drink since 7 o'clock the night before. We are so thirsty and just miserable. We need to get a drink. And I give my buddy these two dollars and I'm like, can you just go buy us some drinks while I deal with the, you know, Western Union thing? And I'm talking to the Western Union people being like, can I get my money? Right. Um, do you have your ID? And I'm like, please, God, do not <laughs> do not do this to me. I need you to understand what I've gone through. I do not have my ID. You just need to give me my money because I, I cannot I cannot have that. I will die here. I will go insane. It will be a thing. We will have a major moment. All right. So thankfully, the person at the gate at the whatever has absolute pity on me and they give me the money. Right. And we go sit outside and my buddy comes out with the drinks. And they are uh, Fanta pineapple sodas. OK. Which are fucking disgusting when they're warm. Oh, Let me tell uh you. But they are just warm Fanta pineapple. I haven't had anything to drink, so I don't care. I open it and I just down this Fanta pineapple soda. All right. And I'm this sitting is how in the I sun. Find out that I'm allergic to pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting in the sun. It is 90 degrees, 10 30, 11 in the morning. Right. And I'm just drinking warm, disgusting 
gross pineapple fucking over sugared soda and it get feeling like this is the best thing I've ever had in my entire life. I hate this pineapple soda, right? Like to this day, I will not drink pineapple soda because of this moment, but it was the best thing I've ever had, ever. And I get my, I don't know, $200 from my family and I'm so thankful for it, right? I call a taxi because, uh, again, no phones, so you have to call a taxi. I haven't been in a taxi in so long. I don't even know how they work anymore, right? <laughs> so I get into a fucking taxi. And I'm like, here, I need to go to the impound line. He's like, yeah, okay, I know exactly where it is. And he's driving, right? And I'm watching this, this little ticker in the middle go up so oh, fast. Geez. So mm. fast. And at one point, it gets to like, I don't know, $14. And I know... I don't have a lot of money. I need to get my car out. And then I have to pay for gas. And I need to, like, do things, right? I can't be spending $40 going three miles. I'm like, stop the car. The guy's like, well, you're not there. I'm just like, stop the car. Just stop the car. And he pulls over. And I'm like, I can't afford this. And I give him his money. He's like, no tip. And I just walk the fuck away. He's all pissed <laughs> no off. No tip. No tip. No right? Head. And I'm like, Whoa. So I walk. No, God, we no we finally get there. We walk to the thing. Right, we go into the place. It's some different person. I'm like, I want my car. And I give them the money. Right, and they're like, Yeah, okay. It, you know, you're lucky you got here too, because like in another hour, it would have been an extra day. And so, I get my car. I get into the car, and we immediately drive as fast as we fucking can out of this city. And um, I've never gone back to Virginia Beach. Huh. That's fair. I don't yeah, blame have you. you. Have you talked to those girls since? <laughs> or were you just uh, like, this is done? I, I think the conversation uh, sort of ended with, I can't believe you fucking did that to us. And then that was kind of the end of the relationships. Good. Uh, Understandable. Very good. Uh, for the drive home, context, I'm curious. You mentioned there was glass around where your car was towed. Were you driving? Car was fine. Okay. Car was fine. I wasn't yeah, sure yeah, if no, a window I, got busted or That's what, what I happened. thought. Right, yeah. I yeah, come yeah. up and I see all this glass everywhere and I'm like, clearly my car has been stolen. Right. I know, I'd had like a stereo stolen thing. before, so like I, I, you know, I expected when I saw the glass, I was like, yeah, that looks like car glass. Clearly, somebody has stolen my car. Yeah. Someone has taken it. I yes. have to say, I almost wish they had. You should <laughs> submit that as a script. Time travel back to the two thousands and submit that as a movie script because that was <laughs> a straight up one of those fucking like misfortunate adventure. 2000s yeah. comedy movie. It was absolutely insane. And um I mean like the 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 thing that really to this day I still remember I'm like I can't believe it was when the cop made me get out of the car. Cuz yeah. I remember this girl, I remember this female cop so well. I remember her so well cuz she was so incredibly sympathetic. Right? She was like I understand you are lost and alone and this is awful and and I'm going to help you. And I remember feeling like a moment of humanity matters. I was gonna Humans say, of, can be kind. Uh, out of uh, everyone in this story, there was like two or three people good. that were nice to you. Yeah. Yes. Her, right? Her like and, they're the only people. Her and, and then, Mr. I don't want to drive at night. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Just random strangers. And, and, and like that cop. And she was so, she was like friendly and like everything. And I was, I was like, I I love you so much as a human being right now. And I get back into the back of this fucking cop van. Cause it was like a van, like not like a, like a oh. cruiser. It was a van. And I'm getting into the back of this cop van and then the supervisor, this prick <laughs> pulls up and makes me get out. And then you know, drives away. <laughs> I, I hope that cop lady ended up marrying Jim. Oh, <laughs> Everything, Damn. everything about it was just, uh, it was, it was a comedy of errors. Um, yes. And that was Virginia beach. I've been there once and it was for family and it was nice. That yeah. was my, that's my <laughs> Virginia beach story. All right. Very good. <laughs> I had a good time. <laughs> God. I, um, I have nothing to say. That just took me on such a journey yeah, that I I'm feel like a... I was on it with you at this point. God. I feel like I... I've hallucinated enough of it in my head that I'm like, yeah, I could see why that sucks. <laughs> yeah, no, feel, that sounds awful. I feel most bad for this community ba bike that we procured. Um, well, no, mm -hmm. it, it, did, it, it did what it was called to do. It was, yes, 
you know, the pink pom poms were a little bit disconcerting, but you it's know, fine. You know yes. it, it was there for a purpose. It did its purpose, and it went out how it probably would have wanted to. <laughs> we need you for Maybe. one last job. <laughs> we need you for one last job. Gosh, God. I'm good for it, Coach. All right. <laughs> One so there you go. Ride. There's our, our stories of the day that you felt like a character in a sitcom. I don't know. Maybe mine's not quite sitcom-y, but sure, this was a whole ass is. movie. Dude, I can yeah, imagine it was a whole movie. ass like laugh track and everything. Yeah, yours is a movie. Mine is just I am put in terrible positions and it just gets worse and worse as time goes on. One day we need to tell everybody about your your suit that you found. Like, that's that's that is the rave story. Yes, we need to tell. That is that is n- that's the one not that he said time. that he's not going to tell. Is that the one that I, I, at some point, <laughs> we need to talk about the suit. If it we ever get a million subscribers, I'll do that. Okay, but that a million. You hear that? that? Million followers across all platforms. That that is it has it has to be one. God. One day. I, one day we will tell I, that story. I promise you, because it is worth it. It changes it how is, you think of Sean. It does. It changes, it does change how everyone thinks of me. That makes it, it sound... It, it changes it, 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 it changes, changes us, everybody. and it changes him. <laughs> the only yes, insight that, I will give is it added the word communal to my day-to-day <laughs> vocabulary. That's I mean, all I will I, say on that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Let your mind yeah. wander with that word. It, so, rather, you'll never like, guess it. You'll so, never guess it, too, is the thing. So there you go. There's our, our day... Uh, a day on a, a sitcom. You can follow us, of course, anywhere at crub.org if you want to find any sort of audio uh, uh, centric places audio to listen to it. Um, we do appreciate any five star reviews, especially if you enjoyed this story. And it always makes it a little bit easier when we get to see that people like us. Also, you can always go to our Patreon, where it's patreon.com slash crub, where you can find all sorts of interesting pieces of content that we've created that we don't put out live to the world because we don't want people to hear these things. I think mm-hmm. right now there is a Mario Party story game Correct. going on. Uh, yes. Which is, which every is game, every board, we're in the process Over of Over time. We, we haven't Over done time. it already. Yeah. This is a long-term goal. Yes. Yes. Uh, I- and you can do all of this right now as a founder, which is only going to be available for a short period of time. That is a $5 a month founder perk level, uh, which will eventually disappear and be replaced by a much higher, much more expensive uh, tier. Tier's the word, right? Is it tier? Sure. Yes. yes. So doing it now means basically you're getting shit for free in the future. And everybody likes free shit. Mm. Not, not Sean. <laughs> No, Sean. Sean doesn't like free shit, but everybody has yeah. I mean, the creator economy. It's, I mean, a, it's a trauma response. I get it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm indifferent. My Very only good. request, I want to hear people's stories like these in the comments. I want to look down there and see big paragraphs of weird shit that happened to people. I, want to, I need more yes. vindication that my life is like not as eventful <laughs> as yours. Or if you're boring <laughs> like me and Trav, just go down there and say, I don't know, I stay inside all day, and we'll go, yeah, us too. Epic. <laughs> Epic. Okay, that's my only request of people. Okay, that's a God. good request. It's a good it request. Good Maybe request. we'll even be able to read one of them uh, at some point here in the future. And then we uh, read obviously, your stories. We read your stories. We call you boring. Hey, if if all these other people can do React content from you know Hollywood, how come we can't do React <laughs> content from comments? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw you know, something yeah. really funny today about a React content. YouTuber, but I, I probably shouldn't talk about it because it might I think, start shit. I think we do that drama in the post show, which is sure. coming up just after this. Thank you so much for coming and watching it. Remember Everybody's to follow us great. live. Remember to follow us. And of course, my name has been Moriarty. Chris, would you like to say goodbye? Goodbye, everybody. Sean. I will also say goodbye. I don't really want to. I want to keep talking to you. But bye, everybody. And Trav. <laughs> my name, Jeff. I'm sorry. What? Are you? And since we don't really have an outro, um, Remember bye. to subscribe to Crubscribe. Do it. <laughs> <laughs>